Good evening, everyone. I think we we are ready to to start. Um, warm a warm welcome on this very cold evening. A warm welcome to a really special um, event. It's really uh, quite a a privilege for us to be hosting this. Um, the development and uh, alumni department, uh, together with the um, Dennis Goldberg uh, Legacy Foundation Trust, to welcome you to the screening of um, Life is Wonderful, Mandela's uh, Unsung Heroes. The development alumni department, for those of you who, who don't know us, um, we, the department in the university that's uh, responsible for raising money for the university, um, for our various uh, projects and programs and activities, things like uh, student bursaries, uh, but also for academic projects, for research, uh, for chairs uh, uh, and the like. In fact, just on Saturday, we, we completed a, one of our um, a flagship activities as a, as a development alumni department is this annual phonathon. Well, fortunately, it's Mandela Day, and unfortunately, there's another event that is arranged for this evening, so we're going to be leaving a little early. Um, but just to say, he is Dr. 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 Goldberg. So the, the, the honorary doctorate that he got from UCT was the fourth, but I think it was quite the fifth. Okay. So. <laughs> and he also has various degrees from UNISA that he got while he was in jail. So he is an engineer, but a librarian and various other things as well. But the movie, as you all know, is about the Rabonia trial. This month is the anniversary of when they were all arrested, um, about a week or so ago. So it is a auspicious month. Thank you, JB. Um, and Diana uh, Ma Berger Yach, yeah? Uh, all connected with management and outreach and working with students and development. As I said at the graduation ceremony, to have a woman head, a woman vice chancellor at the South African University, what a breakthrough. And a black woman at that, at this university, with this great liberal institution, resistance to apartheid in the 50s and 60s of the last century, it was very half-hearted, you know. It made a lot of noise, but they didn't really oppose. And when the government said jump in relation to various people who should have been uh, uh, got doctorates and positions, they in effect said, how high shall we jump? I discovered this when I was 10 years old in 1943, and there were elections, and my school book, Our Country, said South Africa was a democracy because all grown-ups can vote for the candidate and even sit in Parliament. And I went home and said to my parents, but black people can't vote. Why do they say all grown-ups can vote? Why does my book lie to me? And once you've torn aside the veil of uh, the ruling ideology, it's hard to put it together again unless you lie to yourself. I couldn't. Uh, I knew that when the time came to take action, I would have to do so. Remember, the price of democracy is eternal vigilance. And at the end of two years, he refused to give back the power to the people. He became a tyrant. So it is up to us. It's up to us. Thank you. You must forgive me. I need to leave. And I'd love to stay. I love watching this film. It's a whole lot about me. I'm very articulate, as you know. <laughs> but it's a film about Brown Fisher, our defense lawyer. It's a film about Nelson, about Walter Sisulu, about people who 
and Il Elias Matsualedi and Andrew Mlangeni. Castrada, who should have been uh, found not guilty, but wouldn't appeal because that would make him, as an Indian minority member of Congress, somehow claiming special rights. And Elias and Andrew Mlangeni uh, choosing not to appeal when our lawyers thought they might get 12 years. They shouldn't have got life. The evidence against them was much too slight. And finally, I have to say, there was no justice. There was Rusty Bernstein, who was found not guilty. He was much more guilty than me. I got four life sentences. There ain't no justice. Thank you. Us this evening, um, and Debbie Budlinda, and of course, our dear alumni relations team, led by Russell Alley and Lebo, um, thanking them for all the work they do in order to, to walk the talk and, and try through the alumni collective to make a real difference um, and to help in the transformation efforts that still need to be brought to fruition. So thank you all for coming this evening and do join us for refreshments in the foyer. Thank you.